what's going on with Wasabi, man. I don't know what's got him feeling so lost in the sauce. I really hope JJ didn't actually take him seriously. You know what I'm saying? I really hope he stuck to his guns on this one. We're really going to see. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there was, of course, like, certain things that JJ could have said to Deji, like, privately. You know what I mean? But at the same time, when you're a public figure, you know what I'm saying? You got to speak out about shit. And you got to let people know that, like, you're not standing with the bullshit either. You feel me? So let's hop into this, man. Let's see what the homie's talking about. I love y'all, baby. Thank you for choosing me. Let's get it, baby. Yo, what's, what's up? It's your boy, KSI. How we oh, all doing? Your shit. boys got back from Vegas. Had a great time with the boys. But uh, I'm back and uh, a lot of bullshit. <laughs> a lot of things have been said and a certain person believes that they can beat me. So, you know what? Without further ado, <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I think it's what? kind of funny that. I'm you said he could beat guy. him. I can't even get a million views on his video. <laughs> And fam, how long is Bro, I said the same thing. That whole been out forever. And and he had KSI in the title talking about something extremely controversial. Everybody posted it and he still couldn't get a million views off of it. He's been in the game 10 years plus. Bro, 11.5 million subscribers. Still can't get a million views on his videos. Hilarious. <laughs> well, do, let's let's begin. I uh I uh I just saw KSI's reaction video to mine and his little brother Deji's fight. The more I think about it, the more heated I get. Ooh. So I'm gonna try my best to keep a level head throughout, uh, through this. Oh boy, right. ladies and gentlemen. I didn't realize homie actually like bit his lips right there either. That was mad. I don't know why he got freaky while he was talking about that. Like. He was like, let's get into this. Like, he's about to dive into KSI's cheeks or something. It was mad wild. Alex Wasabi is getting angry. We won't like him when he gets angry. <laughs> he might start waving a fist. He might start raising his voice. <laughs> he might even deepen his voice to, to, to try and sound more intimidating. I mean, you can tell that he's very serious when he's added intimidating music in the background Ooh. <laughs> what's even funnier to me too is that i i definitely feel you on that chris and i feel like old ksi would have definitely had like a plate of food out putting salt in it like oh god this dude is just <laughs> you know what i'm saying it would have been hilarious what's up jade i've been missing you baby the more heated i get so I'm gonna try my best to keep a little head. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm ready. Let's go. You actually made Slime. Alex Wasabi look good. You made this man look good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's like, hey, yo, look at Alex Wasabi huffing and puffing away. <laughs> He's fuming. He's furious! Look at those eyes! <laughs> Pure <laughs> intimidation! If you haven't seen KSI's video that came out yesterday... Ayo, oh, hold up. <laughs> what do you mean, if you haven't seen KSI's video? Nigga, everyone saw my video! <laughs> <laughs> Over five million people watched my video at it. And less than a million watched yours. If anything, more people are gonna watch your video through me then your video through, through you. you. <laughs> like, I guarantee this video right here is going to get more views than yours. I guarantee it. <laughs> in an hour, maybe. So let's see. What's it? It's been, what, two hours, I think, since he posted this? Oh, this is kind of tragic. What's it? What, how long has it been? It's got to have been at least two hours, huh? This came out earlier. I wish they would put, like, a time right here, right? So he's already at half a million. It's only been two hours. It's kind of wild, right? So please, Alex Wasabi, man, we are not the same. Put some respect on my name. Think of me doing a try not to laugh gets more views in one month than you get in a whole year. All your videos combined don't reach my video in one month, bro. So shut up. <laughs> you wise, Alex, I shit on you. Same with Jake Paul and all these other scumbags. <laughs> so, so please, Alex, don't, don't ever say that shit again. <laughs> Okay. Best believe everyone saw my video and no one cares about you. It is pretty much just him. Nobody. Doing everything Nobody. in his power to make sure that if his little brother isn't already at rock bottom, that he 100% is now. What do you mean? He should be at rock bottom. 
He lost to you. This was meant to be his <laughs> redemption fight, and he lost. So what do you want from me? Do you want me to? What do you mean? <laughs> Lie to him? Digi, don't worry, bro. You won that fight. I'm pretty sure you knocked him down like five times, even though that might have been because that's when you have to sit down during the one minute break in a boxing match. But still, we take our wins <laughs> when we can. And hey, at least you did better than the last fight, even though the last fight was dog shit. But still, it's a dub. You said you were going to beat Alex Wasabi, and you didn't. <laughs> Deji's watching this like, hey, yo, I thought this was about Alex. <laughs> Who cares? You're Deji. You're... You're the greatest. Even if you lose, you win. Take a shot at You're the, shot. the best, Deji. <laughs> you can beat anyone you want. Jake Paul, <laughs> Joe Bella, and Nissan Gibb. Anyone. You can do it, Deji. Is that what you want? Yes, you can. Seriously, like, what are we doing here? He's my brother. I know him better than you. <laughs> I know me talking to him in public will get to him more than me talking to him in private. Look at what happened when we were beefing each other. Only when I started talking publicly was when we actually stopped fighting each other. Deji told me that he was gonna win this fight Come no on. matter what, and he didn't. So how the fuck am I going to be happy? First of yeah. all, hey, Deji, he ain't capping. Without a doubt, that's why you gotta respect put it. In more work in this camp to get ready for this fight than he ever has before. He was in the best shape that anyone has seen him in. He put in the work. He lasted the entire fight, and he showed heart through every bit of it. I believe that I. I still think he didn't last the entire fight. He didn't last the last like 20 seconds of the fight. Like the last like 20 to 30 seconds of the fight, they were both, well, they were both basically running from each other, trying not to fight. That's what I'm gonna say. But the best Deji, the prime Deji, this is the best Deji has ever been. If this had been a rematch with Vinny Hacker, this Deji would have destroyed him. No, this Deji wouldn't have thrown a punch. So he would have lost again. <laughs> of course he's gonna <laughs> last the entire fight. All he focused hey, on, was defense. Stop trying to act like you fought the best Deji of all time because you did it. I thought the best Deji when we sparred a week before your fight with him. And that's why I don't understand why I didn't get that Deji when he was fighting you. Especially when Come you on. were way worse than me. He showed no heart in the fight against you. Like what the hell, Are we, we were watching the same fight. The fact Come that on. you were able to say hi to a fight. Hey, Jay with a hundred bitties on my titties, baby. I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Queen. And during you fighting Deji, says it all. what's up, man? Like, fam, try yeah, that how? shit with me. I did not realize that that actually happened. How was he able to actually do that? That's crazy. That's crazy. Wait, what? He was talking to niggas while he was fighting Deji? Oh, that's mad disrespectful. That's mad disrespectful. <laughs> Try seeing if you'd be able to say hi to a fan if I was in the ring with you. When he fought Jake, it was Jake's first fight and they fought with headgear and 16 ounce gloves. And he still busted his nose. And Jake's taller than me and probably has a, a longer reach than me. And when he fought Vinny, he was rocking Vinny the whole time. He just didn't have the cardio. But when he fought me, I knew from his previous fights what he does and I made sure to shut that all down. Deji has power and quick counters. Him slipping and countering is how he hit Vinny so many times over and over and over. So I shut that down. Knowing that he was fast, what? I would throw and if I missed, I would fall in so that he couldn't counter. I would close the distance. Bro, I am so hyped to see what KSI gotta say about this, bro. Oh, I gotta, I, I am so hyped to hear this. <laughs> So I Wasabi basically saying that he was he had time to prepare to be better than Jake Paul and other the other homeboy. That's wild. That's wild. What up, Schmart? I take away his greatest strength. And whenever he did throw, whether he landed or missed, I would respond immediately to deter him. It wasn't just an accident. I planned it that way. <laughs> oh, he really thought he did something. <laughs> you really thought you <laughs> You really thought you had boxing skill? Hey, okay. yo! <laughs> boxing skill in order to beat my bro. Wow, okay. Wow. <laughs> my brother hardly punched. Hey, He's still yo. afraid of getting hit. Of course you were gonna beat him. <laughs> Do you really think you can cross step into me? <laughs> You think you can yeah, do that shit to me? <laughs> to me! Alex, 
You're you're an ant. <laughs> if you didn't fight my brother, I would pay no attention to you. Your existence is pointless in my realm. You're a side quest to me. <laughs> and this side quest sucks. Wasn't that Deji didn't want to throw? Bro, you're a I just side shut that quest shit down. To me. No, no, he, he hey, didn't want yo. to throw. He didn't want to throw because he didn't believe in his cardio. <laughs> Gotta remember that throwing punches is tiring. So if you're only focusing on slipping punches, you're doing half the job, and then that's gonna save your cardio. So uh, he's speaking to facts. Big Brother KSI. This guy is literally a child in a grown man's body. Bro, you need to chill out. Damn, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> He got me, man. What an insult from Alex Wasabi. I told you guys you won't like me. Oh, the Jesus. Your voice is higher than women that you... Hey, bro, honestly, you need to relax, dude. <laughs> you need to fucking chill, dude. You guys, you won't like me when he's angry. Jesus. Your voice is higher than women that you've been dating. You are such a bitch that you cry when you're masturbating. You gotta sit down every time you gotta pee, thinking that you're staying when you're talking about me. Oh, you need to chill out. Oh! <laughs> I, I, how can I compete? How can I compete? How can I beat that guy? How can I beat? Keep the hate on me, like you've been doing for years. Make a make a laughing at Alex Sabi three. I, I don't care. But why do you have to put your brother down? Does it make you feel better? Oh, don't worry, bro. I'll make sure to make a laughing at Alex Wasabi three. If we ever fight, I'll be sure to film it after the fight when I show everyone how shit you are. And Alex, I'm not trying to bring him down. I'm trying to send him to hell so he can wake the fuck up and be serious for once. I need him to be serious about this boxing thing, man. This is your little brother. Yeah. I can understand tough love. No, he not lying, why bro. That's where it's like, he's not camping. Mean. Because after three plus years of boxing, Deji still doesn't understand what it takes to win to a win. Clearly, you have a different way of dealing with your brother. Mine is tough love. Yours is... Putting Orbeez in a bathtub. Hugging your brother when he shits on your face. Family is everything. <laughs> everything. Like, come on. How am I the one defending your little brother? You're defending him. It's just rubbing salt in his wounds and repeatedly slapping him in the face <laughs> of the fact that you were the one who was actually able to beat him. After everything that man has been through, you just had to pile on. Yes. You had to add <laughs> yes. your two cents. Yes. Nothing encouraging. <laughs> no, hey, I'm always here for you. You couldn't even muster up a single encouraging word. The, the whole video Oh, uh, they're gonna be waiting on this response, man. Video. Yes, Alex, my whole video. They're gonna be waiting to see what Alex gotta video. say after this. Whatever the fuck that means. Now, let's not act like I haven't supported Digi my whole fucking life. I mean, how do you know I haven't given him words of encouragement? Do you know that I've told him to go see a therapist? Because I've told him how beneficial it is and how it's helped me in my career and my thoughts and feelings and just in life in general. Of course you don't know. You know why? Because he's my brother. Don't tell me how to be a brother. <laughs> To my own brother. You've got your ways, and I've got hey, mine. Hey, he's spinning. Everyone is different. There isn't just one way to do everything, you know? This is your brother. This is your... If, you're supposed to lift him up. I've lifted him up several times, but sometimes you just gotta give him a fucking reality check. Oh my gosh. If, yeah. if anybody talk to my little brother like that... What are you gonna do? No, I'm intrigued. What are you gonna do... <laughs> To me, <laughs> if I talk to your little brother like that, you know what? What do you mean by that? <laughs> what, what do you mean by that? <laughs> well, let me talk to your little brother real quick. Hey, Alex Wasabi's <laughs> little brother. How's it going? <laughs> Just wanted to let you know that you suck. Yeah, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, being related to Alex Wasabi automatically means that you suck. I know it's a lot for you to deal with right now, but hey, at least you're not Alex Wasabi. Bro, you need to chill out. <laughs> you even went in on Deji for being humble and interacting with his fans that traveled all the way to Wembley Arena to support him. Wembley Arena isn't even that far, fam. <laughs> <laughs> what really annoyed me, man, was when you were asking the crowd. He said, hey, we live here, dude. We live here. What do you mean, travel? Straight after losing, being like, yo, should I fight again? Should I fight again? Why are you asking them? Is it their decision? How do you even go in on somebody for that? Because Deji tries to follow in my footsteps and doesn't realize that he can 
have his own path <laughs> that isn't related to me. He just needs to find out what he enjoys doing and focus on that. Whether it's boxing, YouTube, acting, or even rocket science. Deji needs to figure out what his path is and walk down that rather than feeling that he has to prove to me and the public that, that he, he, yeah, he can do everything that I can do. I think he's speaking right now. I'm not gonna lie, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> when you have a little brother, they look up to you. Your voice becomes the voice inside their head. What do you think your voice is sounding like right now inside your little brother's head? Oh. him into being a better what? fighter tactic did not work when he lost to Vinny Hacker. What makes you think that going in on him even harder after this loss is going to help? Vidal and I went in hard on Deji uh, for the Jake Paul fight. He left, I, I believe, a month or two before the fight actually happened because he just couldn't hack it anymore. And even still, we managed to get one of the best performances he's had in the boxing ring. And keep in mind, he was new to boxing at this point. For the Vinny Hacker fight, I left him alone, and well, the less said about that, the better. And for the fight with you, I only got involved a little bit. So clearly, when I'm hard on Deji, he, he performs better. Shit, it's almost like I, I, I yeah. know him. <laughs> <laughs> in your video, you like, kept saying, I'm not talking to my fans. I'm not talking to the audience. I'm talking directly to you, Deji. I'm not talking to all these people. I'm talking to you, Deji. Then do that. Why do you have to publicly shame him? Because this works. This is how I get through to him. It's a shame that it has to be this way, but he, he cares too much about what the public think about him. Talking privately means he can't be held accountable. Whereas when I speak publicly, God damn it, he listens. <laughs> Yeah. He actually listens. Let's be yeah. honest. You didn't make not the video Deji. He not capping. He not capping at all. Oh no, I was. You gotta remember, I don't make money from my YouTube videos. I mean, I will after August because my deal with uh, BMG uh, ends. So that shows I didn't do it for the money. I didn't do it for the views because, like I said before, <laughs> I get those. I get more views doing the trying <laughs> to laugh. So what? What does that leave me with? I guess you could say I did this to boost my ego, uh, even though my ego is already fucking massive. I don't, I don't know why I would need to do a video like that just to boost my ego. It, it doesn't really make much sense. I literally did that video for Deji because I care about him. Him losing to you is like me losing to you. He's an extension of me. And when yo, I said... Yo, chat, like... <laughs> Like imagine, <laughs> imagine the nigga Wasabi like gets on like steroids and shit and like really gets big out here. It just beats the shit out of Kansas. <laughs> like a fucking imagine, <laughs> imagine like the whole world will be over. <laughs> the whole world. Will be over. <laughs> and then this nigga, this nigga Wasabi just goes on his like villain rampage through the YouTube world and just starts like beating up everybody that ever talked to him that I talked to him about like, I can't even can't, imagining it is funny like I can't even like truly believe it like trying to like just <laughs> oh man I'm still so sad I'm so sad for Deji because there will always be images of him fighting wasabi and wasabi getting like punches on him and like him running from certain punches and things like that like oh god i'd be so i'd be so sad oh i'd be so sad congrats to you in the medic room fam like do you do you know how hard that was for me i, I don't like losing i i want everyone around me to win deji has lost three times in a row, I I can't let that <laughs> run. I left all this beef between us go. Yeah, I, I respect let it go. that. I, thought, I respect that. You know what? I'm gonna go to London. I'm gonna get in the ring with Deji, with the whole entire UK against me, that we would let this all go. Win or lose, it'd be done. No more beef. After my fight, I even took the time to greet you in the ring. 
to make sure we were good and put all this to rest. And I was expecting a fair play Alex Wasabi. Oh, please comment on this. Something like that. Please like, comment on this. I guess that's just too much to ask from somebody like you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I gave you your congrats when I saw you in person. What more do you want? We are not cool. I am not your friend. You beat my brother, so you have one over me. And I don't like that. So what the hell? I'm not gonna tweet you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you are? <laughs> I don't like you. Just do me a favor and keep that weight up, boy. Cause if you... You said keep that weight up, boy? I don't remember this part. <laughs> hey, yo. Come anywhere close to entering that my weight. That dying in the corner. <laughs> I will humble you. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my thing about people who try to act hard, bro. Like, nigga, you talking all that shit. Like, just handle it right now. Like, why he got to come down to your weight class? Like, if you feel like, you know what I'm saying, you want to put the mittens on him, then you need to put the mittens on that boy right now. Like, fuck losing the weight. Fuck doing all that. Like, shut up. Like, if, 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 if he is out of your level, then shut up. <laughs> like, don't even mention it. Don't bring it up. Don't, don't fucking, don't have nothing to say at all. Like, if you are not going to step right now at the current shape of things then shut up <laughs> shut the fuck up if anything if, if if anything ksi would be way slower and way weaker right now than his normal self because he hasn't been training so shit i'd be like fuck it hey right now like let's fight in a week fuck it <laughs> let's let's spar off camera in a week that's what i would tell him like i'm still coming off of like my training you know what i'm saying i'm still coming off of a whole fight camp this thing has is coming off of a tour like, he's coughing right now, laughing. I'm beating his ass. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking in my head. That's what I'm thinking. But Alex is like, nah, you know what, man? You lose some weight. You get down to my size. And then you come see me, and I'll, I'll talk to you. I'll handle you like a man. That sounds hella bitch. He's going to humble me. <laughs> how? How? You, how? <laughs> you think what you did to my bro, you could do to me? <laughs> <laughs> do you know who I am? <laughs> I haven't even been in the ring for two to three years and I'd still fuck you up. <laughs> what are you doing? I am a different beast. If I set my mind to something, I accomplish it. I succeed in it because I am relentless. I'm obsessive. I'm addicted to that fucking thing. You, Alex Wasabi, are an insignificant piece of shit that happened to beat my brother. So don't you <laughs> fucking dare. That don't happened to be my dare brother. think you can humble me. And I guarantee that your little brother, being the good man that he is, will be there to pick up the pieces. Oh, he's going to pick up something. He's your <laughs> fucking mouthpiece after I slumped you on the ground, bro. Reggie, I didn't know that that's what you had to deal with. You are an absolute legend. You are a legend, bro. Never giving up. Always getting back in the ring and watching. I your didn't even realize there was this much music fight, in this. That's something that your fans, including me, is going to take and apply to their own journeys. They're going to learn from that, and that's that's you. You got what it takes. You got the discipline. You get better each time. Okay, not each time, but the last time you definitely got better. The last time you got better. Look at look how patronizing this is. What you're doing is way worse than that. Because Stupid. you're literally. Making him look like a Literally. bitch. I'm out here annoyed that he didn't show his full potential. And you're out here telling him that he's done well after losing for the third time. And even you broke your nice guy character while trying to big him up. Anyway, we're done with that video because we have yet another video <laughs> of Alex Wasabi where he's on a podcast, this time with Bradley Martin talking about... Wait, what? <laughs> well, you know what? See for yourself. Did you beat KSI? Oh yeah. That guy hits hard, bro. He, he. I remember he. I, hit, I was like, this guy hit hard. Yeah, but it's because he has all the weight. If he comes to my weight, we're equal. The only thing he has on me is weight. But if he comes to my weight, then I feel like he's gonna underestimate me, just like his brother did. Do you think he's been training like consistently? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You think you'll beat him for sure? Oh yeah. Wow. That would be like <laughs> what, bro? If you beat him, yeah. I feel like it would be like low key. 
embarrassing for him. I'm not trying to disrespect you. No, I think it would be too because like he's been like what? He fought Logan. Logan's tall. Yeah, he Logan's fought big. Logan at lo- at that at 200 or whatever the weight they fought at. But that's all he has. And if he fights me like at my weight, that's my territory. That's where I live. <laughs> the only thing I have. On Alex Wasabi is weight. I mean, there's delusional, and then there's <laughs> flat out what? <laughs> he really thinks that if I went down to his weight class, I would lose. What is your weight? Humor me. What? 185, 180? Uh, y- you think you'd beat me at that weight? Fucking hell, man. You're so. You're so. Sh- How much did JJ weigh when he w- when he fought Joe Weller? Weren't they under 200 pounds? He was slugging his ass off in that fight. Stupid, bro. Like I said, if I was to fight you, it would be easy. And I would show you how easy it is. You're a side quest. Remember that. You're a little ant. Insignificant. <laughs> Please. <laughs> anyway, this has been your boy, KSI. I thought I'd just respond to the bullshit that... JD Russell was 193. I'm uh, so humbled. confused. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> this nigga is going to humble me. <laughs> Bro, I'm so <laughs> tempted just to go down to that weight and be like, all right, let's fucking go then. <laughs> you fucking idiot. All right, anyway, take care and peace. Jesus Christ, bro. This dude has got to be the most delusional person in the world.